This is a question that I've received a lot over the last several years. How long of a fast do you need to do to experience autophagy? Well, Dr. Rhonda Patrick has this popular video wherein she asked a fellow researcher that question. And interestingly, I only half agree with his answer. I'll explain why after we hear his point of view. The question that I had for you is like, I've talked with um, Dr. Walter Longo, he was on the podcast, and he talked quite a bit about his research on prolonged fasting in both rodents and also in humans and, and how the prolonged fast, at least in rodents, is 48 hours, which in humans is around four days, four to five days. And that was able to very robustly not only activate autophagy, but also cell death, and that was followed by a regeneration period. Um, but the question is, do we know what the minimum amount of fasting time is for humans or rodents that can activate autophagy? Is there any evidence? Do we know? We don't know. So uh, Craig Thompson published a paper uh, on circumdian variations in hepatic autophagy. Uh, so you know that mice uh, don't eat uh, during the day and they eat during the night. Uh, so the in entire cycle is inversed. Uh, and he observed that as a result of not eating during the day, there was more autophagy in the liver. Uh, so this result is intriguing. Uh, it has not been, to my knowledge, uh, extrapolated to other organs. Um, and uh, it certainly requires uh, more profound studies. Okay. Uh, there's a fundamental difference between rodents and humans. Um, so the two days that you have been alluding to cause a 20% weight loss in mice that are at this time point at the verge of death. Another day would potentially kill them. And so 20% is a lot. Imagine this for yourself. In two days. Yeah. In, in four days, uh, a human being uh, only loses uh, one to 2% of um, his or her weight. Is that because they have a higher metabolism, rodents do, or? Yeah, it's uh, certainly linked to the change in the surface volume ratio that uh, uh, is classically associated with an accelerated uh, metabolism. Mm. So he mentions that the research that has been done in the field of autophagy has been focused on animals, and he's not wrong there. Obviously, he would know. He brings up a great point that the translation of time fasting is different from animals to humans because a rodent's metabolism is much greater, relatively speaking, than a human. That said, a fast for a mouse of 16 hours, a typical intermittent fast for humans, is equivalent to days of fasting for humans. Yet rodents experience an increase in autophagy. Yet we don't know if that translates to humans. And here's where I'd like to add a bit more context, because the question being asked misses a key piece of context. I think people are used to a binary style of thinking, meaning they accept that either autophagy is on or it's off, but that's not how biology works. You should think of autophagy as a dimmer switch. You can steadily increase it or steadily decrease it. You can also speed up the pace at which the dimmer reaches its maximum or minimum state. So even without fasting, your cells are using autophagy because without it, they would struggle to survive. That means the answer to the question of how long of a fast do you need to experience autophagy is zero length of time. Your cells are always fluxing, always steadily increasing or decreasing autophagy as needed, regardless of what you do. Now, a more appropriate question might be how to increase autophagy over some average amount. And for that, I think there's no doubt that fasting does lead to this increased autophagy. But there are several questions that still need to be answered. One, does intermittent fasting within a day still increase autophagy over baseline? And two, is it the fasting or just calorie restriction that leads to these increases? Well, up to the point of this recording, there isn't any research investigating these claims, but if I find the answer, I will attach it to this video. However, you may be interested in my series looking at fasting on health and autophagy in the meantime. So I'll speak to you there.